Hello and welcome back to another Dave the Diver video. Today I'll be talking about the new meta for farming Bay. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, Bay is a sea people village currency. Basically, the thing about it is, what you want to do, it's on these red fog nights, you want to hit explore. Now even if you want to open up the restaurant normally, I'll show you what to do. But it's important that you hit this explore thing first. Basically, you want to head to the dredge spots. You can ignore the, like, the fishing spots, but you definitely want to head to the dredge spots. What's there? Of course, you're going to want to dredge. Now, I'm lucky here, as this one it has uh, shapes in a deep high. So basically, that means I'm getting three items. Getting this old iron chain. I'm getting this boot. Now, coincidentally, well, not coincidentally, the fact is that these items do not change if you save and reload. Like, say for example, I saved on this like foggy morning, because there was fog rolling in, so I saved on the morning. And I'm getting exactly the same items each time. Like in this other spot, going to be... If I just got the emerald earrings, the sapphire earrings, and another boot in this other spot, and it's only a medium. And I know that because I've dredged this several times. Yeah, here's the earrings. Yeah, emerald earrings. And here's the boot. Now say for example, you dredge everything, but you don't want to do the aberrant fish event. You just don't want to do the hooded figures event and all that. What you do is you sail out to the edge. Okay, maybe not this edge. So as it turns out, what you've got to do is sail back over to this edge over here. So basically you sail to where behind where your boat started off. And once you reach far enough out, you should get the option to finish sailing. You also get the option to access your diver box if you want to change weapons. And you are back on the ship, no time lost. Now if you went to explore again, as you can see none of the dredge slots are refreshed. So. Once you've explored once, there's no point in going back in again. So now you've lost no time, but the hood of figures are still showing up because it's a red knight. So what you can do, actually, is you can pull the Travelling Merchant. Huh? <laughs> and you get some dialogue here. And you can choose to hmm. not have them come. Mm. <laughs> At that point, the hood figures won't show up to your restaurant, you can go to your sushi and do a shift as normal. At that point, you can put on your regular menu. And open up the sushi bar. Ooh. And only regular customers come in, no hood of figures. But none of that is what you're really here for. You're here for the bay and seeing what the bay matter is. And I'll show you. So you take your dredge items and you go to the Sea People Village. As you can see, I'm sporting like 3,000 up in that corner there. Now, I was on like 150 like when I started my stream the other day. So basically, yeah, it, it got up quite fast with it. But just depends on how many dredge events you're doing and how lucky you're getting. But not the point. So you go in here to the Sea People Workshop. Now you have to have like the uh, done the uh, quest to unlock the workshop for this. But if you have, you can go in there and you can actually sell all these items. And as you can see, they're not exactly cheap items either. Like, you know, okay, the boots are kind of cheap, but. You know, they're, they're, they've got some good value behind them, comparing to like, you know, the stuff you can buy. Yeah, sure, that's expensive, but, you know, those have some quite good value to them. Now, up on the screen here, actually, I have a list of all the dredge items I've encountered so far. And as you can see at the top, the blue diamond is really worth quite something. Like, the next most expensive items I found was the sapphire crown, which isn't as expensive, but it's still a very good item. Now, as you can see here on this list, there's quite a few 
items that sell for a decent amount. Like, some of the ass don't sell for that much, around 40 range, 80 range, not that great. But as you, like, encounter more and more treasure items, you just get more and more bay. Like, and if you get a blue diamond, you're in the money. So at this point, it's like, yeah. No matter what happens, like, you should always try to do the dredging on the dredge night. Because with that, you can, like, actually get some real um, m real money in the Sea People Village. And you won't have to bother doing the casino. Because the casino, Lord knows, the casino is um, very, very dull. And not very fun to do in any stretch of the way. So yeah, like, you know, that's a new meta for getting bay, I find. Like, since they nerfed the Jade Cave, like, Palatial Cave 1, since they nerfed that, these dredge items are going to be my new source of getting bay. So if I need to get, like, see people money, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, yeah, that's really about it for this video. Hope you have a good day.